Hey, this is Matt again, and I'm here to give you part 4 of the Advanced Programming Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a shooting enemy. Now, um, we could create a shooting enemy that moves, but you, to make a good shooting enemy that can move, you would need Pro Edition of Game Maker, and I really don't want to force you to buy anything just yet. So, um, t we're today we're just going to be making a, a stationary shooting enemy, so a turret of some sort. So um, to start out, we're going to need a new sprite. So create a new sprite, edit sprite. We'll make it a 32 by 32. Zoom in. And I'm just going to go real simple because I am horrible at drawing. So let's just make like a rocket launcher or something here. Maybe we can just like. Add some stripes. So yeah, that's why I don't draw. And we're just going to be using this as our sprite for our tutorial here. So let's just say that that's like a rocket launcher or something. And I'm going to call this turret. And then under objects, I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to call this turret. Assign the new sprite. So basically, what we want this to do is it's, is it's going to shoot bullets at a certain at a certain direction. So actually, this is going to be turret underscore right. Now um, I'm going to duplicate the bullet sprite. I'm going to call this turret underscore bullet. Go to edit sprite, and I am going to make it red and stick with the pattern here. Bad guys being red and good guys being blue. And then I'm going to create a new object called enemy underscore bullet underscore right. And we can actually do the programming for this bullet right now. We're just going to say when it's created, it's going to move right at speed. We used 8, so we'll use 8 for this also. And when it collides with the wall, it is going to destroy itself. That's all the program will need to do for the bullet. So now under turret right, we are going to um, add an event create. At create, it's going to create instance of object uh, enemy bullet right at zero zero relative. And create instances under tab main one. And also we're gonna we're introducing something new in this tutorial like always, so we are going to be using the set alarm. We're gonna drag that out. So we're setting alarm number zero to um, remember thirty steps per second. So if we want this to shoot once a second, we're gonna set this to thirty. Now that it's set to thirty, we're gonna go out event alarm zero, and at alarm zero. We are going to create instance of object enemy bullet right again, zero zero relative, and then we're going to set alarm zero to thirty again. So you're probably really confused right now, but just try to ha get what I have done on your computer right now, and um, I'll walk you through it right now. So when the object's created, it'll create a bullet. The bullet will start moving right, and then one one second later, alarm zero. So we set alarm zero to thirty. Then one second later, alarm zero is going to go ring ring, and it's going to say create another instance of object bullet, so it's going to make another bullet, and then it's going to set alarm zero to 30 again, and then a, a second later it's going to say ring ring, alarm zero is going to go off. So basically this goes on forever until the object is destroyed. So now we're going to go out event, collision with, um, actually we don't need to do that yet, we can just test the shooting part of it. So we'll click OK here, and um, then we're going to go into our room, and I'm just going to, you know, find a place to put it here. Take my turret, put it right there, so I can shoot at the player from there. See how this goes. Okay, so let's test out our room with our new turret in it. And we will, we haven't programmed damage or anything yet, so, but I just want to test to make sure that the shooting is working. <coughs> We show all of our cool sounds from last tutorial. <coughs> so you can see here that we are creating the um, bullet at the uh, 
um, turret and it's shooting. It's shooting at the player, but we haven't programmed damage yet. And if you look really closely, it's not really coming out of the barrel of the turret. It's more coming out of the center of the turret because that's what we programmed it to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fix I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So we're gonna go into the turret sprite. And we're gonna hit Control A, which selects everything, and then we're gonna hit Control C. And then we're going to go into turret underscore bullet, go to edit sprite, and I'm going to uh, control. Uh, first, I'm going to delete this. We're going to make this again. I'm control paste. So here we have a turret. I'm going to just position on the bottom like it normally is, and then I'm going to say, hmm, if I were actually going to make my bullet, I would put it at, right about here inside the barrel. That's where it would start, right? So I'm going to make it there, and then I'm going to delete everything else in the sprite. This is a useful technique of how to line things up when you're making sprites if Dan hasn't showed you that already in one of his tutorials but uh, now I'm just going to get rid of the rest of the turret so we're just left with that circle okay so now we have the exact position that the bullet will spawn in when the turret shooting right so I'm going to click OK now that this is just for the right turret I need to add turret underscore bullet underscore right to this so I know this is a little confusing, but it's going to look a lot better when we're done. And now we want the turret to be in front of the bullet, so when it comes out of the barrel, it actually looks like it's coming out of the barrel. So for turret underscore right, we're going to set its depth to negative 1. And since enemy bullet right's is depth 0, it will be in front of it on the screen. So it will look like it's coming out of the barrel, instead of on top of the barrel. So let's, look, let's just look at what this looks like now. So now we have um, this turret that's shooting at you, and the bullets actually look like they're coming out of the barrel now, which is very good. And um, now I guess we're going to have to program damage. So go to, let's go to our player, and let's say add event collision with enemy bullet right, and we're going to set the player's health to minus 15 and then we'll hit relative because we want to subtract so we're going to subtract 15 every time it collides with the bullet now let's go into the bullet and we're going to say add event collision with player we're going to destroy so now it will destroy itself when it hits the player So you can see our health going down on the top every time we get shot. And it appears that there's a problem with us getting killed by this, so let's go into our programming and see if we can fix that. Oh yes, that's right, we haven't programmed dying. So when we collide with the enemy, we set the health to negative 1, but then we say, if health is smaller than 1, destroy the instance and restart the room. So this is when we had one enemy, but now we have two enemies, and we're going to add enemies to our game, so I want to move this out of just collide with enemy, and move it to, it's always going to see if our health is smaller than 1, so I'm going to click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one, that selects this entire thing, and then I'm going to hit control X, the control cut, then I'm going to add event, step, normal step, and I'm going to paste here. So if at any time our health is smaller than 1, it's going to destroy the instance and restart the room, which actually works very well. So um, that is what you need to do to program your health. And now we are going to, let's see how much time I have left. Yeah, plenty of time. So um, we are going to program health for the turret because if the turret was a one-shot kill, it wouldn't be a very threatening enemy now, would it? So, in the turret, we're going to say, on its create, we're going to define a new variable called turret 
underscore health. And we're going to set carrot underscore health to 5. Or let's do 4 for now so it's not impossible to heal. And you can't use the variable health because if you use the variable health, that will change the player's health. So just use turret underscore health or enemy underscore health or alien underscore health or whatever you want because just don't use the normal health. So now let's go out event collision with bullet right. We are going to set turret underscore health to minus one relative. So now every time it gets hit by a bullet it's going to set its health to minus one. So now we're going to go duplicate event, collision with bullet left, duplicate event, collision with bullet up, duplicate event, not delete event, duplicate event, collision with bullet down. So now I have it for all the different bullets and that should take care of that and then we just need to have it so it can destroy itself. So we're going to go out event, step, Normal step, and then we're gonna drag out a new variable. And I'm gonna say if variable turret underscore health. Wait, this is a test variable. Sorry, not a variable. If variable turret health is smaller than one, start block minus block, and then we're going to destroy instance of self. So this is all the programming for a pretty simple shooting enemy, and now we just need to go into our um bullets and we're going to say if we have a collision with um, turret underscore right we're going to destroy ourselves and, we're, and we need to do that for all the bullets now there is a way that I'm going to show you next tutorial that you can speed up this process just a little bit without getting pro edition so um, it's going to make your life a lot easier Okay, so that is all our programming for this tutorial, so now let's just go test the final product. I'm going to add in a few more turrets just to make it more exciting. I'll add a turret right here so we can get shot when we come out, or we can time it right so we can get out. So, here we go. So we see our turret shooting at us, and I'm just going to go up here, take out this normal enemy. So, our turret doesn't take one shot to kill, it takes two, three, four. It takes four shots to kill, which is just like we programmed it. And you can just increase the turret health and the create event if you want to turn up its health. So now let's go down here, and we're going to shoot that turret. You see we lost some health there. And this um, enemy health program that I just showed you, you can do the exact same thing for your um, normal enemy, and I'm sure you can try to figure that out if you want, um, the, the chasing enemy, the seeking enemy. So that's about it for this tutorial. Subscribe and add this to your favorites, um, and just stay tuned for the rest of our tutorials. So have fun with Game Maker.